Wisdom loves company. I'm sure that you're familiar with the phrase, misery loves company, but I want to talk about the kind of company that we keep today. Our daily reading is from Proverbs chapter 13, and our verse of the day is Proverbs 13, 20. Walk with the wise and become wise, for a companion of fools suffers harm. I'll read that one more time. Walk with the wise and become wise, for a companion of fools suffers harm. I think it's significant that recently our staff was able to take a, a walk down to Long Pond where Underpass meets the rail trail and we walked down to Sheep Pond and back up to the church and we found it to be such a cathartic experience and we realized that we were walking with the wise leaders of our church and there are many more in our community that we're able to spend our time with. And indeed, those walks are going to be continued, and Gwyneth Prue will be sharing some information about how on a couple of Wednesdays a month, you have the opportunity at, I think it's 8.30 in the morning, to gather at that very same spot and in different locations that she'll indicate. So if you're interested in walking with the wise with our own staff member, Gwen Prue, I invite you to reach out to her and take that opportunity to spend some time with good, godly company. Well, some of my favorite sayings are the sayings of Aesop's fables. I'm not sure if you're familiar with any of these. Probably you're more familiar with the morals of the lessons that come from these stories, like Misery Loves Company. And they come from a storyteller who lived in ancient Greece some five to six hundred years before the time of Jesus. Today's story, inspired by Proverbs chapter 13, is about the donkey and his purchaser. A man wanted to buy a donkey and went to market, and coming across a likely-looking beast, arranged with the owner that he should be allowed to take him home on trial to see what he was like. When he reached home, he put him into his stable along with other donkeys. Well, the newcomer donkey took a look around and immediately went and chose a place next to the laziest, meanest, greediest beast in the whole stable. When the master saw this, he put the halter on him at once and led him off and handed him over to his owner again. The latter was a good deal surprised to see him back so soon returned and said, Why, do you mean to say that you've tested him already? I don't want to put him through any more tests, replied the other. I could see what sort of beast he is from the companion that he chose for himself. The moral of the story is, a person is known by the company they keep. And again, this has a wonderful connectivity to the proverb that we learn about in Proverbs chapter 13. So on this Saturday at the end of May, we ask ourselves, what sort of company am I keeping from day to day? We know that when we're surrounded by brothers and sisters in the Lord, when we ask the Lord to dwell in our heart, and when we pray on a regular basis, we're surrounding ourselves with the very best company in the universe. May that pour itself out into all our relationships in a life-giving way that sustains and renews and blesses the whole world. May God bless you this weekend.